If you're still spending hours designing 3D characters, you're falling behind. That is because these days you can use AI to automate most of your work. These 3D objects you see right here are all AI generated from simple input images. However, the problem is that no AI tool does everything well. One lacks the speed, another one misses accuracy, and another one is bad with textures. I tried all AI 3D generators to figure out which ones are actually worth your time and money. So in this video, I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison with the best tools right now. And to run these tests, I'm using a platform called 3D AI Studio. It lets you use all these models in one place without having to juggle between different windows and multiple subscriptions. You'll find a direct link to this page in the description of the video. Let's start. Starting off with Prism 3.0 AI 3D Model Generator. This model gives you a balance between clean geometry and good-looking textures. The meshes are usable right away and the textures look realistic enough for product shots, characters or general 3D objects. To compare how these 3D models perform against one another, I created this image of a bicycle and I used each one of these tools to convert that into a 3D object. And to do this, I will open up 3D Studio and pick pick the image to 3D model from the list and choose a 3D model with which I want to work. Then I'll drop my bicycle image into the view. Then I will just hit generate and wait for a minute or two and get my awesome 3D object back. That is pretty insane, isn't it? But now let's try to run this on this Prism 3.0 AI 3D model generator. After a couple of minutes of waiting, here is my bicycle. Isn't that cool? Now you can use the key controls to view this object from different sides. You can also remove the materials and colors to see the base object. Now overall, I'm pretty happy with my result. However, there are some quirks. For example, some of these wheel spokes are either missing or appear to be cut in half. So I'd definitely have to fix that. Also, the colorized version of this bicycle 3D object is not ideal and I would have to recolor at least a part of it. But let's be fair, this is super impressive. Even though a bicycle is a pretty basic object, the fact that I could just use an image of it and then get an object that is 95% of there using AI is absolutely mind-blowing. Now, even though Prism 3.0 produced a fantastic result, it is not ideal, for example, for 3D printing. And that is what brings me to the next AI 3D model on the list today called Hanion 3.0. This model is ideal for creating those 3D printable objects. So while the Prism model from earlier focuses on the looks, Hanion focuses on geometric accuracy. So here's the bicycle model I created with Hanion. As you can see, this looks quite a bit better than Prism 3.0. In fact, this is as close to a perfect model as you can get. Even the wheel spokes are all there. The only real issue I see is that some of these spokes are colored in a weird way. But other than that, I could use this 3D model directly as it is all day. So this is ideal for 3D printing, CAD workflows, and manufacturing style use cases. The only trade-off is that it is slower and more expensive in credits. From printing 3D models, we move on to a technical reconstruction model designed for studio-grade topology control. This model is called Forge Gen 2. This model is best for professional pipelines requiring advanced mesh customization. It gives you studio-level output with extensive topology options for technical production workflows. Let's pull up the 3D bicycle model I just created with it. Out of the three models I've shown you thus far, this one's actually the worst. The wheel spokes of the bicycle are missing altogether, and the gearbox is controlling, the wheels are only partially there. Furthermore, the colors and the material look strange. This gives me an impression that this AI tool doesn't really understand the object it was supposed to create that well. Unfortunately, this was a bit of a disappointment. Now thus far, I haven't shown it to you, but it has taken quite a while to generate these basic AI models. That is about 5 to even 10 minutes. But what if you don't have that much time to wait for each generation? Well, that's when you might want to try an AI 3D generator called Prism Turbo. This model is all about speed. It was consistently about 3 to 5 times faster than the other models I tried today. The speed makes it ideal for quick testing, previews, and high volume workflows. Notice that this obviously comes with a trade-off, that is, the quality is not at the Prism 3.0 or Hanian level. You can easily see this in the bicycle object that I just created. It looks like the bicycle is made of ice that is partially molten. Also, the handlebars are not attached to the frame. And the gearboxes, 
they look absolutely terrible. And the spokes are bent and uneven. So this model would be totally unusable as it is. However, that's kind of the point here. As I said, it is optimized for speed and quick testing. And this brings us to an AI 3D model generator that is a balance between speed and quality. And this model is called Prism 2.5. It is not as fast as a Prism Turbo model, but it's also not as high in quality as Prism 3.0 or Hanion. Here's the bicycle object that I created with this model. I think it actually turned out pretty good, but it's definitely not flawless. The spokes are bent and warped in an unnatural way. And the gearbox doesn't really look like a gearbox to me. Also, if I look at it closely, I can clearly see some extra material in the handlebars. Other than that, there are surprisingly few artifacts and quirks in this one. That said, if you need a balance between speed and cost, Prism 2.5 is your best bet. But now what if you need an AI 3D model generator that turns simple 2D doodles and sketches into 3D objects? That's when Forge Sketch comes in handy. This model is great for mockups, ideation and conceptualization. That is a weird word. Here's the bicycle that I created. And yes, because this one produces a low poly model, the overall quality is low and for example, most of the spokes of the wheels are missing. But as I suggested, this one's actually not best for turning a bicycle image into a bicycle object because this one's more intended to turn those 2D sketches and doodles into 3D objects. So it's great for placeholders, mockups and early concepts, but not for final assets. But what if you need something more artistic, like humanoid characters or other types of cinematic assets? Well, that's when you have to try Meshi 6 AI 3D model generator. While Prism models that I showed you earlier are known for their stability, Meshi 6 is at least marketed as sculpting level model that focuses on high fidelity artistic control. The focus here is on smarter mesh optimization and better PBR textures. When it works well, the results are more production ready than some older models produce. Now I will show you the bicycle 3D model in just a second, but before that I have to show you what this model is best suited for, and that is in these 3D characters. For example, here is a simple text input that I gave to this model, and in just a couple of minutes here is a model that I got from it. I mean. This is insane. But now, since this model also allows for realistic object style, let's see how the bicycle turned out. Honestly, I think this is great for what this model is intended for. It definitely goes at least to the Prism 2.5 category. These spokes are missing and they are somewhat bent, but without those, the model actually looks pretty amazing. Please notice that this model is still in its beta mode, so you might expect to see some inconsistencies across your generations. But now, what what if you need a model that is better suited for industrial applications and teams working across diverse software environments? Well, that's when Seed 3D 1.0 comes in handy. This model is all about flexibility. It supports both PBR materials and standard RGB workflows. This is useful if you're working across different tools or different teams. The bicycle object turned out pretty great. However, the handlebar looks a bit strange to me. It's almost as if there was one handlebar and then another attached to it. So when it comes to that part, this tool clearly didn't understand the task at hand. Also, now that I look at it, one pedal is missing and another one looks very strange. But notice that this model is also in developments and might produce inconsistent results. And that is a wrap for the 3D AI model generators of today. And my favorite? It's definitely the Hanion 3.0 model, since it's made for 3D printing and also the object looked so fine and ready to use right off the get-go. Here is a short cheat sheet for what each model is best for. But notice that this technology is exploding right now. It just takes a month or two for a new tool to come and completely reshuffle the list. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments what topics I should cover next. See you around.